Hey team, I wanted to make a quick video. Um, an idea that I started last year was a self-assessment. Um, and I, it was so much fun and I felt so good doing it. I, I put it on my list of things to do every year. And so I wanted to check in today. So the idea was to talk about where I am right now, what my rhetoric is, all of those little variables, who I am, um, what myself is, how it's reflected right here, right now. Um, and I, you know, I just did one last year and it kind of talked about my background as, um, you know, with my education and things like that, where I was at. Um, we're going to start fresh this year and then we can do a comparison to what last year was like. Um, so who am I today? Uh, today I am newly moved to the cities. Um, it's a more urban environment and I am excited for it. I am nervous about it. Um, I uh, <laughs> have been enjoying seeing um, all of the, the um, entrepreneurship here, um, all of the different ideas. And I, I think it's really, really exciting and interesting to see what people come up with. And um, that's you know, obviously the cities is very dense and has a lot of that um, in in a small square footage. So it's really cool to see. I know I've um, I'm hoping to be biking soon around these cities. Um, I I'm still kind of waiting for some um, employment roles to kick off, but they've been kind of lingering and I've been kind of doing some research things. And so um, I haven't really, I feel like those are new to the South. And so I'm trying to incorporate them more and more, um, but it has been great. Um, just starting to delve into more of that research. I know some of it's like housing supports and homelessness and, you know, different, um, different things about, um, poverty and, um, you know, quality of life and things like that. So, um, I'm also, of course, doing more home care work. Um, and I think that that's definitely a worthwhile thing to do. Um, so it's been kind of spontaneous here and there to start with. There's not a set schedule. And I actually do kind of like that freedom. I think that is great. So I've been enjoying it quite a bit, um, just being able to, to squeeze in when I can. And right now it's um, I can more often than um, I had anticipated because I do have, I have four, in, four um, jobs right now. Um, one of them is snow removal for adults who have special needs and um that was actually a lot of fun i like being active and i like being out in the community and um i know i kind of experienced that last year um i was outside all of the time so um so i think that this is a really good cause and i think it kind of builds on some of the knowledge base that we were working on you know with uh, you know just basic maintenance things outdoor maintenance and so it was chainsaws and clippers and chemical treatments and things like that and so this is um the snow removal stuff so it's the shoveling and uh the ice melts and you know different different techniques and like snow pushers versus the shovels we've always had shovels and um so just different um different methods of taking care of that um and so that's been, it's been very educational which is really really good um and very practical and very helpful too. I wanted to make sure that what I was doing um, was helpful for the community in general. So um, that's why I went for that one. Um, it's uh, I do know that I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to um, be there for every snowfall um, just with the positions that I will in theory have in place. So um, hoping to, to push through. I've done a few shifts now and there was um, a little bit of concern there. Um, over uh, a, a potential non-issue, um, a thieving concern. And um, so, so um, I, but I think that we cleared that. So it's been, there have been some interesting dynamics um, with the just, you know, city living and, um, and things like that. So um, I think that it's, I've got a lot to learn, a lot to grow into, um, but it's been a lot of fun. Um, I will be starting another position um, coming up, and that will be addressing um, food for um, adults who have special needs again um, and determining like transportation and uh, things like that for for nutrition and healthy living uh, living styles so i'm very excited to be moving forward um i'm also kind of in that go mindset i that's a lot and um i care about all of it and so i want to make sure that i do a good job and i stay on top of it and i've started some of the research for that stuff um and i've started you know making miscellaneous graphics and things and um so there's plenty to do <laughs> plenty to do plenty to move forward but I'm also trying to boost up my technology. Um, I'm, I see I'm, I'm in that this headspace where I just want to learn and grow and learn as much as possible, as much as I can. And I think sometimes that gets me a little bit down because it's just like 
there's so much that I don't know, you know, <laughs> there's so much, um, you know, I'm so behind on like technology. I feel like I just did not care, um, for a long period of time there. And, um, now I'm trying to get back up on that and be like, okay, well, I am going to try and follow a little more of the pop culture and what people are doing now, what, um, what they're interested in. And I think that it's actually very important to stay on top of that stuff, to, um, be able to communicate and join in on those conversations. Um, because that's, you know, if that's where, the community is now it helps if you have the same uh, the same uh, materials that you can reference in order to build on that and um, and move forward so uh, I think that it is important to stay on top of the the rhetoric of others um, so I'm kind of jumping back into that and because a lot of others are way more technologically advanced than I am <laughs> So, um, so I think that's going to be a lot of fun as well. Um, a little bit stressful. Um, but obviously I, I've just moved here too, and I'm just settling into the new place and I don't have a routine set yet. And so I think that's got me a little bit wibbly wobbly. And, um, but I think that it is overall good. I am, um, comfortable. I feel like I, um, I'm not really lacking in anything myself now. Um, so I, you know, I, for a while, you know, I, I had, you know, I had nothing. I moved out and I had been saving. I've been asking for Christmas for things for you know, like living and um, building a home for myself. And that was kind of a big goal for a long time, building a home. And um, now it's kind of shifted into exploring. I still obviously want to have a home and have a family. And I did post about that too. And, um, you know, cause um, there was been, there's been a lot of drama last year. There was a lot of drama and, um, uh, this year, it's kind of continuing a little bit on, um, you know, sexuality and um, relationships and what that means. And um, so as well as just other things, you know, environmental and, you know, every everything. So I'm trying to build up my STEM. And uh, but it's just it's been a bit of a year and I now things are more like experimental. So I know that I won't be able to afford a house now. Um, so I am kind of thinking, well, I can build a tiny on a trailer. And I, I know I didn't want one on a trailer. I was thinking with roots and having, you know, putting it in the, in, uh, you know, on a solid ground and having a foundation. And, um, that was a really important thing for me. And I know that I wanted to explore gardening and uh, like outdoor gardening. And I wanted the, um, sustainable, um, sustainable agriculture, permaculture, and I wanted to have trees intermixed with plants and um, a lot of food plants and trees and things. And um, I know that that's probably not going to happen if I don't own dirt. And I probably don't, I, I don't know when I would ever be able to afford that um, unless I want to put myself, you know, get a mortgage and be back in debt. And um, so I've, I've kind of restructured my thought processes and I've been doing a lot of apartment living so I'm going to do this for a, for a little while here in the cities. Um, and then I'm, I'd like to try, I've not lived in a townhouse yet. So I think that's on the list. And, um, I also want to, um, try obviously a house. Um, and, and I don't know if I, I will be able to afford, I'm, you know, I'm working with a lot of like nonprofits and things. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know if, if or how I would afford, but potentially, you know, a tiny house or something larger, but I, the goal, like my life goal was a tiny house. So, um, but I think it'd be fun to, to experiment in a, like a larger house. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what, what life, ex what life happens and, uh, how that works out. But, um, I'm still just trying to experience as much as I can and, um, learn as much as I can, uh, grow as much as I can, help as much as I can. So I've been doing a lot of reading and, um, I know last year was a big one for reading as well. I stumbled upon this new reading, reading challenge and it was, uh, get 20 short books from the library and read as many of them as possible in as short a period of time as possible. And I felt like I learned so much that it was, um, it, I can't believe how much I learned in that doing that little exercise. And then I, you know, I have the, the library app on my phone now I'm getting all tech savvy. So I have books on my phone and uh, not just audio books too, but, um, the, the library app has, you know, uh, they're innumerable and they, they've got the audio and they've got the, the written and they've got the mixed, and they've got different languages and stuff. So, um, so I've been, you know, I'm, I've got an audio book going, I've got, you know, a textbook going and, um, it's, so it's good. I, I'm very excited for it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and making the, the graphics and the content to share and to help others grow in the ways that I'm growing. I think that's really important. So I think that I know when I made this video last year, I was kind of sitting contented and pleased. And, um, now I'm kind of in a grow space and a go, go space, grow space. Um, so, but of course I'm also in the, uh, in the, that 
area where um, I'm kind of waiting for the next step to fully realize itself. And so, um, so um, we'll see. I don't know. I've, I felt the go space, grow space last year as well. Um, but, um, but I don't know. We will, we'll find out what the year has in store. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I know that I've got a lot I want to do this time around. I didn't, it wasn't myself. Wasn't really about, you know, my, you know, like what I'm wearing. I do have a clothing challenge going right now and I've got another one coming up and I, that's not really where my headspace is at right now. And so, um, I, I'll, I'll probably trend back that way a little way, a little ways. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to get more multicultural. I know I did some language lessons last year as well. and I'm going to put those back on the agenda too. Um, and so, so, but it's, yeah, last year was more, this is where I came from and this is where I'm at and I'm contented and happy. And this time it's like, this is where I'm going. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm, I am very excited about, um, the consistent learning and, um, the future. And I'm excited to see, you know, what's out there, what's going on and to be able to contribute to that. So, woohoo! all right, I'm going to stop this video and I'll talk to you later.